If you're watching this video, it's because we talked in the office about an anterior uh, cervical disc replacement. Uh, the reason we'll be doing that surgery is to relieve pressure on the nerves that's causing you pain in your neck and or arms. That surgery is generally done as an outpatient at our surgery center, uh, where you come in and prior to surgery you're put to sleep and you're then moved to an operating table on your back. I then make a small incision on the front of your neck and I'm able to get to your spine from the front. Once I reach your spine, I then take out the disc that is causing the pressure on the nerves. In its place, I'll then put in a cage that is designed to allow your neck to still move naturally as it used to prior to the disc being injured. This is an alternative to an anterior cervical discectomy infusion where we actually fuse the bones of the neck together. The benefit of this surgery is that it should allow for more normal motion of your neck after surgery compared to a fusion, and also theoretically may prevent worsening of other levels of the neck. So for the anesthesia for the surgery, you do need to be put to sleep, and that's to allow me to safely get to your spine uh, from the front and also work around the spinal cord and nerves. After surgery, uh, you will not be in a cervical collar. Uh, I will have you not uh, go back to work maybe for a couple of weeks while you recover but the pain is generally not uh, very severe at all. Uh, most people are able to go home, they're able to eat, drink, and walk around uh, fairly normally. Uh, after a couple of weeks, when I see you in the office, we can talk about getting you back to work and letting you do the other activities that you want to get back to.